Your humble host, Minister Pato Mokoa, on relationship and marriage issues. Last week, we talked about checking out before the proposal. And also, I told us it's the stage one. And today is more or less a continuation of it. What we are checking out today is your temperament and your character. So many people confuse their temperament from their character. Being before accepting any proposal, or if you are already married, you need and you need some adjustments. It's never too late. But before you are accepting any proposal, you should know the difference between your temperament and your character. So that whoever you are accepting is or a proposal or you are proposing to you will be able to know if the person really fits you that you can stay and spend the rest of your life with so finding a perfect match can be very complicated sometimes you might really love somebody but your temperament or your character might not permit both of you to be together because when your temperament doesn't match with each other your character doesn't befit each other understanding will be a very big problem in that kind of relationship or marriage so it is better you know your temperament it is better you know your character before marriage but if you are already married and you don't know your temperament and your character also it is time for you to know it so you can make some adjustments and some amendments so without wasting much time what are we talking about what does temperament means temperament means the method of god creating us now there are some people we have some people that are born with the attitude and that's um that are born naturally with the tendency of leadership some are born with the te- of that some are strict some people are born being strict some are very friendly jovial some are f- easy going and some are so difficult to understand or follow so we have so many people like that people are born with different types of temperament everyone can never be the same everyone cannot have the same temperament we have people that you seeing them alone they look like a leader they talk like a leader they command things like leaders and also there are some people out there that they are very easy to flow with you can easily flow with them you can easily talk to them they can easily attract people easily flow with people so that is temperament that temperament means the way god has created you you are it is your natural being your natural person your natural kind of attitude in you is your temperament then when you are talking about your character Your character is the personality in you which is affected by the influence of your life. Let me put it this way. Your character is the way you behave, especially according to your environment, according to your way of life. That is your character. So, like your character is your personality plus your external influence. When you are talking of your external influence, like your pers- pers- uh, parental training, the way your parent trained you, whatever you give out will be your character. Maybe when you go to school, you are educated, the way you behave as an educated person is called character. Maybe the kind of friends you associate with would bring out your character. If you are a Christian, if you are a Muslim, the church you go or the mosque you go, your your religious art is your character the environment where you are is your character in some people your life experience whatever you face in life the way you behave according to your situation is your character and also another one that is character you if you are a male your male attitude maleness in you is your character if you are a female you know there is a difference between the way the men and women behave 
so the way you're you being a man your behavior is your character because you behave the way men do if you are a female you behave the way female do that's your character and also your background so anything that is life your life being the way you react to it and your personality is your character because many of us we mistaken our temperament with our so the thing is we are if you don't have a, you might not have the kind of character somebody wants but your temperament might match so there's a very big difference between temperament and character so some people don't even like to talk about the temperament they don't want to be told the truth about temperament but it is time we face the fact about our temperament and we have four different types of temperament that will be discussed in another video so you knowing your temperament at this very moment is very very important don't take your temperament as your character if you are just joining us we're talking about temperament and character you before accepting any proposal as a lady learn to know the your your partner's temperament and the character and you before proposing to any lady you should know her temperament and her character so temperament is the way god created you the way you behave the way people see you that your natural tendency is your temperament but the way you behave according to your environment according to your life activity is called your character so don't mix it up don't say uh, maybe because somebody does not have manners doesn't respect people and you say uh, uh, the person that is the person natural being no you being disrespectful is not natural no you being disrespectful is your character that is just the truth so let us learn to know the difference between our temperament and our character so i will not be talking much today i just want to introduce this topic your temperament and your character and there's a, a topic that is coming up very soon that i would like to discuss with us it's based on the um men the women the ladies and gentlemen living in abroad in terms of relationships and marriages so if you have any questions regarding to that you can drop it at my comment section or in my inbox so today i'm just trying to introduce what to talk about what we call your temperament and your character so i will just briefly say the six reasons why you should know your temperament the six reasons why you should know your temperament one knowing your temperament will show the kind of person you are naturally if you know your temperament if you know how god created you you will know everything about yourself naturally and two knowing your temperament will make you be aware of your natural strength you will know what you are capable of doing and what you are not capable of doing so you know your temperament you will know exactly what you can do the strength of your own self if you can accommodate pains if you cannot accommodate pains if you are the jovial type if you are the strict type you will know so that people won't get uh, they misunderstand your temperament with your character another reason why you should know your temperament is it will make you know the kind of partner you want to settle with you might have a partner that is harsh you ask you've been harsh you don't need a, a partner that is also harsh you should have the opposite type maybe you should have a calm you should have a calm type of partner if you are the harsh type if you get angry easily you should have a partner that is calm and cool-headed that we understand your temperament so that is another point if you are someone that is easy going you should have a, a partner that will also be understanding it might not be that easy going but it will also understand everything about your own kind of temperament so and also another reason why you should know your temperament is because 
so you'll be able to accept and flow with your marriage partner so if because by the time you've already know that this partner i'm settling with is the ash type of person this person i'm settling with is the cool kind of person so you'll be able to accept and flow with the person you'll be able to know exactly how the person is so that you will not be able to hurt each other and another point why you should know your temperament is because so you can accept and flow with those you work with and also to relate how to relate with people around you you might be that kind of person that don't like talking much but the people around you are those that love gisting and talking so the moment before you know because you don't talk or you don't contribute to whatever they say some of them might said you are having this kind of pride in you why because they don't know your temperament they don't know anything about you but if you if you people know about you they really know your temperament those that will come around you will be very selective they will know that this is the kind of person this person is this person doesn't talk much so the person the same person does not need those that talk much around him or her but if you are someone that you are you talk a lot you the uh, i would like to say the extrovert kind of person so those that will be around you will know that yeah she loves talking she loves flowing with people but the moment they see you come all of a sudden they will understand what happened so you knowing your temperament will help you in accepting people around you and also make you be able to flow with the people around you and another reason why you should know your temperament is because it will help you forgive people who hurt you when you know your kind of person you'll be able to know those you want to be around with if you know you are the kind of person that is hot tempered you don't need to be around those that are also hot tempered because war is going to be set there so whoever if, if you know that you are always harsh so you will not want to be around those that make you get angry easily so and it will be very easy for you to forgive people those that ought to they will know you they will know that uh, this person doesn't talk and you offended the person the moment they apologize to you the apology will be easily accepted so you knowing your temperament the kind of person exactly that you are that how god created you is very very important don't miss your temperament with your character your character is the way the, is, is your personality with your environment or your life that you live you might be around an environment that is rugged definitely your attitude your character there will be rugged if you are around people that are calm you will also want to be calm so you come out with that same character if you if your background is a background that it's the, you you are grown in a, in a rough kind of background your character even at the end it is the same attitude you will bring out you cannot see a a, a rich man's daughter behaving like a pauper it is not possible that is called character why because that is the background the, because the, the the rich man's daughter is being brought up in a wealthy home she he or she in an environment and starts behaving like someone that does not have anything or like a poor man's child there's a very big difference it's always easy for us to identify when you see a big man's child you will know once when you see a poor man's child you will know once why it's because of their character when you see the one that is behaving like a rich man's child and, and it's not a rich man's child you will know because with time the secret will get leaked you understand me so your character is according to your environment why your temperament is how god created you so before accepting any proposal or you are proposing to any lady you should know each other's temperament you cannot be with a woman that is that has this natural uh, annoyance kind of temperament she's always ash she's so insecure naturally and you yourself you are having that same kind of character you will have problems in that kind of relationship if you should marry a woman a man that has that kind of harsh kind of character that is very hot tempered and you and man, you are all tempered problem will always happen in such kind of marriage instead if you want to get settled down you always want the opposite kind of your 
your personality you understand me so that both of you will understand you cannot have the same kind of person you in, in ter- like for example there are so many marriages in terms of education it is very difficult for you to see that both the husband and the wife have the same level of education it is either the man is higher with one grade or the woman is higher with one grade in terms of understanding both of you cannot have the same level of understanding that is the fact in terms of attitude or character both of you can never have the same character that is why you should understand each other's temperaments and character so that you can make a balance together that is just it because you are you you uh, trying to know that after the deed has been done it becomes very difficult to adjust and amend but but by the time you know each other's temperament and each other's character there will be a very clear understanding in between both of you You we have understanding you will understand each other you will know that if you do this your partner will get angry so instead of that you will adjust you will adjust so that is just the fact so i'm just trying to introduce us 